and a little thicker today. I'm showing Caroline how to make timber frame trusses. I'm pretty sure you all remember that two years ago I made all my trusses. To make them, I used several types of tools. I'm far from being an expert in the subject, but I can say that I managed to do something half decent. The week before last Christmas, Caroline asked if I was able to show her how to make a timber frame because she wants to make a green house like that. I started with the help of my model, by showing her how to draw the trusses, the most complicated part of what I did. After a while, we decided on this shape. It's an exact replica of my own design. After printing all the ends of all the pieces on several sheets of paper, we had fun sticking them all together. After gluing all of them on a piece of MDF, I cut all the patterns. When I'm done, we're ready to begin. But before jumping on the tools, we assemble three of my saw horses. Then Caroline makes her first cut. Next, using the pattern we made, she can mark the end of the most complicated part of the truss, the queen post. When the four sides are traced, I show her how to gauge the right cut angle by making a series of parallel cuts up until the right one. Then she cuts the rest. Next, I tilt the saw blade to this angle, and Caroline does the rest. It's now time to make this cut. But she still needs to finish the cut by hand. Now it's cleanup time. Next, she has to make the small vortices on top of the post. After cutting the cheeks, she can clean between them. It's time to make the small tenons on top of the rafters. She starts by cutting the angle top. After the tenon is cut and cleaned up, Caroline can mark the bottom of the rafters. Uh, it's a weird shape to cut, so she'll have to make several stop cuts, taking care not to pass over the lines. Next, she has to adjust her saw for the tenon width, and then she can make several cuts to form the tenon. She finishes the cut by hand.
When it's all cut, she can take care of the tenon's cheeks. Then, the shoulders. One done. Another one to go. Now that both rafters are done, Caroline can start to work on the tie beam. We drilled some holes on one of the patterns. To mark the center of the drill bit, she'll use to drill the mortises. She used a nail to mark the drill bit center and drill for the mortises. Then she can clean the inside with a chisel. Next, she has to do the same thing for the queen post mortise and the one for the other rafter. Now we can try a dry fit. Ah, this doesn't fit. She has to work on the tendon a little bit. Oops. Now that both rafters are perfect, we can measure the length of the queen post, mark it, cut it, and make its tenon. The first try doesn't fit. Now she has a nice timber frame truss. But she still has to drill some pegs holes. I explain where to drill them and she does the rest. With this last peg, her training is over. As you can see, even someone with no experience in timber framing can make the most difficult part of the structure. I hope that Caroline's experience gives you the boost you need to make a nice timber frame structure in your own backyard. As for us, we'll see each other real soon on the woodpecker.